noisy to your soul. The screeching, the, the wretched, the screeching will preserve you. Understanding will keep you, to deliver you from the way of evil, from the man who speaks perverse things, from those who weave the path of your brightness, to walk in the way of the darkness, rejoice in doing evil, evil, and delight in the perverse of the wicked. When it comes to time when temptations arise, when you are reading and praying, wisdom enters your heart, and only the knowledge from those from wisdom and from the Bible are pleasing to your soul when you want it and when you accept it, not when you just receive it. It's when you want it, when you have it, and you want to hold on to it. Only then can you defeat temptations, and that will separate you from the ones who fall and from the ones who swerve from the path and the narrow path. And understanding and discretion will preserve you and keep you protection for you. Discretion. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's, that's how you do that. Um, assurance. Assurance. When um, going through walk with God, it's going to be something that you will encounter with every step. And it's okay to doubt God because it, it's only human of us to doubt. But having trust in him and realizing that he's more powerful than anything you're facing. That's also another thing that you need to learn and understand. And that's how you get away from that doubt. A couple of verses. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 9. Those are the Bibles. Therefore, know that the Lord your God, he is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations that those who love him and keep his commandments. That, in my opinion, is because what that tells me is that God is a faithful God. He keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations. That's a pretty long time. Much of the world. Um, and those who love, for those who love him and keep his commandments, when you are struggling, do your best to keep his commandments and fight with him for his love. He looks down on you and he knows what you're trying to do and he honors you. Honors you. And he keeps his promises. So that assurance is that he will love you and he will always keep his promises to you. And that's pretty assuring. Another one is John chapter 16, verse. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be a good cheer, I have overcome the world. Now that, that's, that's assurance. Definitely, that's, that's very good assurance. Because he's, he's saying right there that <coughs> everyone will fall, and we will all encounter our own tribulation, our own struggles, no matter how how bad or how uh, minor it may seem, you always should be able to cheer because you know that God has overcome the world. He, when he stumped out on the cross, he took all of his sins, all your struggles, all your pain. So you don't have to worry about those because God has taken care of you already. All you have to do is be patient and be because when you go through struggles, it's not because you've done something wrong. It's because God is strengthening you for something big. He is just empowering you and allowing you to go through these things so that when Satan comes again to take you down, you have something to back you up and you are more powerful than you were before. Also, um, 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15. 